In this tutorial, we're going to uh, make a Christmas ornament. I'll click on the default cube here and hit delete. We'll hit shift A and we'll start making our UV sphere first. So click on that, go to the menu on the down on the left here. I'll increase the um, segments to 64 and the rings to 32 and hit enter. Next, I'll right click on my UV sphere and hit shade smooth one on the number pad and i'll scroll in now we're going to add the little crown on the top here so i'll hit shift and right click ish on the top of the uv sphere rather and then hit shift a and i'll add a cylinder hit s and i'll scale that down so it's yeah something like that and I'll hit G and grab it and go on the set axis and we'll drag that upwards like that. And let's just close this move menu here and uh, we'll scroll into the crown part of the the mount where you hang the, the ribbon from and we'll hit tab to go into edit mode and we'll just look at this um this crown part here and we'll hit the face select mode first delete the bottom face we'll hit two on our keyboard and double click on the bottom loop then click on the vertex selection button or one on your keyboard and we're going to hit f3 and we'll type you see i've already typed it but checker deselect Enter. Now what did this did right here, if we go, if you press one on our numpad, you can see that every other vertex is selected. So G, Z and grab and drag, we'll just drag upwards on the Z axis and we'll hit tab to go to edit mode. We'll just scroll in and now we can apply the scale. So hit control A, hit tab again, choose edge select mode double click on the edge loop or to select the edge loop control B click and drag scroll to increase your segments and yeah I'm happy with that click to to apply the the bevel and we'll hit tab again to go out of edit mode right click and hit shade smooth if we hit one on our keyboard now we can bring that down again G, Z, and drag it to hold down shift to make like the finer adjustments. You see it's like intersecting just a bit. Um, let's move it up so it's almost intersecting but not quite. Now we need to add a ring and we'll add a very simple ribbon part to go with the whole ornament. So I'll hit shift A again and I'll add a torus. I'll hit R, X and 90 on my keyboard. I'll hit S and scale it down on the on all axes. So it's small enough to put out on the top here. But I think the ring here is too thick. So what, what I can do is hit tab again to go with edit mode and hit Alt S. Now I'll scale the thickness of our ring instead of just the size of it. Something like that is fine. We'll hit right click again, shade smooth, hit one again, and we'll just move that G, X into the center there. So we have every object here centered on the blue line here or the Z axis. Next up, we'll just add a very quick ribbon and it's not really a curve object that we could use but instead we'll just make something much easier to work with for this exact tutorial but I have a different ribbon tutorial that you can use for this if you want to make something more lively and twisted so I'll hit shift a again add a plane hit s to scale scale that down so it's smaller than the circle itself or smaller than the crown itself 
hit G instead. We'll move that inside our little ring here. Hit S and we'll scale it on the Y axis like that. Now we'll hit tab again. We'll go into edit. We're in edit mode and we'll make sure you're selected the edge select. Click both edges, E to extrude and hit Z and drag those upwards like that. Now we have like this very simplified ribbon, a quick little like cheat to make this look more like a ribbon and not just a straight line is to hit Alt A to deselect everything and click the first one. If I hit one again, look for my front view, G and X, I can move that to the left and I can choose the one behind it, G, X and move that to the right. Now you can see we have like this, um, this ribbon hanging from nothing uh, and that's our, that's our ribbon right there. So now we can hit tab again, control A, apply the scale again, just like we did with the crown. And we'll hit tab again. Uh, we'll choose the edges here and here, control B. And it's using our segments from before, that's fine. Drag and click to apply, right click, shade smooth. Now we have a ribbon holding the Christmas ornament right here. First, let's move our camera to a more suited position. It's a shortcut for this. If you like move in your uh, viewport view here, you can hit Control-Alt-0. I'll duplicate my window. Just click and drag from the top right corner here. And I'll hit 7 to look from a top view and we'll just move the camera with G and R. Now we can just move it like this. Hit 3, G and Z to move it on the Z axis. Now we have our um, Christmas ornament centered in frame with the ribbons going just outside the frame here to keep the illusion that it's hanging from something. Okay, so next up we'll add some textures. I'll choose a red, very glossy, material for this. I'm just going to use the regular glossy material here because it doesn't have that many parameters. Uh, we'll hit Z and go to render view. So now, now we can start seeing what this are going to look like. You can choose a red color on the right side here. Something Christmassy. The roughness, we're going to pull that way down like that. Same for our um, hit one to go in the front view here. Our crown here needs a, a gold material. So we're just going to use the same material for that. And copy it, make a new material of the same material. And now click and drag on the color to change that to a gold-ish color. And I'm going to use the same color for the ribbon and the ring. So I'll shift click both those and then shift click the crown and control L and link materials. Now if we hit Alt A on the side here, you can see that both the crown, the ring and the ribbon has the same materials. Now I want to duplicate this material once more for the ribbon. but It's not that reflective as metal. So I made that number three. And I'll just adjust this uh, material's roughness a bit more than the others. Now it's very boring uh, when you see, let's hide everything here on the side. Now it's very boring as it, as it is right now because it's not reflecting anything and it doesn't have any lighting. So what we can do here is just go to HDRI Haven I found a suitable HDRI that you can use. In the World tab here, click on the color button and choose environment texture. Now everything turned pink on the on the left side here. That's just Blender telling you that there's no image texture 
data there yet. Click open and find your, your HDRI Christmas Studio. Open that. Instantly we have a Christmas ornament looking very Christmassy. Maybe the ribbon should be another color. You can tinker around with the, the colors yourself. Maybe that should be a reddish color instead. Yeah, I think so. That's more Christmassy like. So now we have a very simple Christmas ornament here reflecting this HDRI Christmas um, background here. So if you want to render this, and I'm sure you don't want the background to be visible, there's a quick setting in, in the render options here. Go down to film and hit transparent. Now if you render this out as a, a PNG, if we hit F12 now, and that's our image. You can go to image and save as. Make sure you choose PNG and hit RGBA. So it will save as a PNG with an alpha channel. And that way you can use this as an overlay or in a, a different project or whatever you choose. That covers this tutorial for now. I'm astounded how many people that are watching my videos daily. Uh, also, I'm not posting as much as I, uh, I hoped I had time to, but I reached over 2000 subscribers now and I appreciate every comment and every view I get. It's really cool to, to have this, this YouTube channel just growing by itself. And I, uh, I hope to post more in the future and I'll make sure to answer your comments. If you have any questions, please subscribe and um, Merry Christmas.